Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman vs. Hush 2-pack. Uh, yeah, so I waited for these two to go on a bit of a discount, so I got them for like 30 bucks around there, maybe 35 uh, I don't know, 5 bucks off. Whatever. Uh, but but I, I actually like this figure more than I thought I would, and I'm actually considering picking up another one, um, especially because it's like 13 bucks right now, unlike a lot of places. But uh, this Batman is killer. So let's take a look at the accessories first. So they do, you know, the two-pack comes with uh, this base here, as most two-packs from... The DC Multiverse line comes, you know, does. Um, they started doing it after the first one, though, if I recall correctly. But, yeah, you can just see, like, all the tombstones there. Nice bricks and everything. You can see the slot where the tomb, the real tombstone goes. But, uh, you can just put that in there. I don't know how it goes exactly, but... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this way? I don't know. It doesn't really stay in there very well, unfortunately. Unless I figure out a way. But here lies Jason Todd. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, okay. Sorry. S sorry, Jay. Uh, but yeah, cool beast. Uh, I, I like that we get them, but I never really use them. Um, they do come with the trading cards. So I like the, uh, like the, the uh, 3D renders there. Uh, you can see that this Batman on the card has the gray joints, but he does not on the figure, which we'll take a look at in a minute. But here's Batman's read-up. If you want to read it, pause it now. And then here's Hush. Wow. My God. Enjoy that novel. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Um, there's uh, some batarangs. He comes with two, Batman comes with two of these batarangs, which you can't hold. Like at all, which is kind of frustrating, but yeah. Uh, and then obviously we get the shovel because Warner Brothers is like no guns. So there's the shovel there, and like the dirt on it. It's supposed to be dirt. I don't know why they wouldn't just paint it. Uh, I would have rather just a plain. It looks like a dog chewed on it. Like I don't know. Uh, oops, sorry. Yeah, it looks like a dog just chewed on it. it you know, it doesn't look like dirt, but. The handle looks nice. You got all the greens and everything. So yeah, there you go. Let's take a look at Hush first, just because this is the figure I was like least excited about. Uh, I like the head sculpt. Uh, it looks nice, you know. You get the screaming head sculpt. I do wish he just had a normal face. I don't think the the single carded one has a normal face. Uh, I think it's the same exact figure. You can see the emerald, uh, right? You know thing he has there that his mom gave him or whatever um and you can see like the nice collar there and everything i'm sorry like i i i, I enjoyed hush but like it, everyone makes it out to be like the best batman thing ever i'm like no it was not <laughs> like not in the very least but uh yeah this jacket looks cool again um uh, you know ever since you know um warner brothers said no guns i think McFarlane closed this up because I put my finger underneath the jacket. No weirdness. Uh, and it felt like there was some sculpting in there. So uh, and the reason why I want to get another one is so I can actually just take a pair of scissors and just cut this up. So he, I can have like an open jacket version of this figure. But we'll see. Um, I do believe the single carded one comes with knives too. But... Yeah, the jacket looks nice as it is. I could see some people doing, like, a Jim Gordon custom with this jacket. Um, but, yeah. Nice wrinkles and everything. And, I mean, he's fairly articulated even with the jacket on. Um, like, he can do a split. He can kick. Um, the arms can move around and such. So, yeah. You know, I mean, it's not a, a terrible figure. Not as bad as I was thinking he was going to be, but... Let's give him a gun. Uh, I did buy that... Uh, McFarlane Munitions accessory kit. And uh, I'm just going to give them like, this Desert Eagle. Um, I'm thinking about buying another one. Uh, they're for pre-order right now. So they're making more, which is good. But, 
Yeah, there we go. That that looks a lot better than just a shovel. Um, I wish it was like silver, but I'll take what I can get at this point. But yeah, Hush looks really cool. Now Batman. Uh, we've seen this Batman figure before. Um, we've seen him twice before, to be exact. Um, and I it I like him. Um, not this exact Batman. Like we have a different head sculpt and everything. Like we've seen this body before. Like we've definitely seen this piece here. We've definitely seen like you know, this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways. But yeah, no, it looks really cool. I love that head sculpt. Uh, I do wish, you know, he came with an alternative head that wasn't, like, screaming. But honestly, I hope they make another, you know, a single-carded version of this figure. Uh, unlikely, but still. Love the bat logo there. That looks phenomenal. The utility belt looks good. A lot of people complain about this right here. I actually don't have an issue with it that much. I mean, obviously, I would have liked it to have been, you know, gray and black and you know you know properly colored right but i'm not you know it's not that bad to me like it's not that noticeable um so yeah then you get the boots very simple figure the cape looks cool um this is a new cape i believe uh and there's like a nice fold in there so you can wrap it around his leg um but yeah uh, like I said, we've seen this figure before, so I'm not even going to go over the articulation. Um, like we've seen this body mold before. And um, I do wish he came with, like, uh, fisted hands. Um, at least one side fisted. Because uh, he can't even hold the batarangs that well. So, uh, yeah. Anyways. So there's Batman. I'm not even going to do any comparisons with Hush. I'm just going to ex stick exclusively to uh, Batman here. But... Um, here are the other two figures that we've seen share the same body mold. So here's the three Jokers, Batman figure, which I still absolutely love. Uh, and then here is the, let me get on the stand here. Uh, come on. Here is the, uh, you know, the, that Target exclusive uh, Todd McFarlane Batman figure. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a great body mold. I wouldn't mind seeing it more. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, if you want, like, I love that you have, like, a great variety. You know, you got, uh, the oval with, you know, black and blue. And then you have the, you know, non-oval. And then you have the capsules versus pouches. You know, I don't know. People care about that sort of thing. I'm not really a stickler for those. I, I just prefer black and gray cow over blue. But that's just me. Uh, but yeah, these guys look, these guys look awesome. Um, so yeah, there you go. And then, uh, just for fun, I have two more McFarlane figures. So this is the Detective Comics 1000 Batman figure, which... It's also based on Jim Lee's art, and um, they are pretty much like the same Batman. I mean, if you just same colors, same bat logos, same kind of belt, kind of looking belt, um, and like you can just see how far McFarlane's come since their first wave of figures, and I really do appreciate them, you know, evolving. Um, Everyone craps on this figure. I think it looks great. I, I don't care. <laughs> like, I, I will defend this figure forever. Is it the best Batman figure from McFarlane? Absolutely not. No, not a long shot. Not even... I don't want to say not even in the top ten, but... In a couple years, definitely won't be in the top ten. But uh, here's the uh, Action Comics one, uh, 1000 Superman figure, in case you wanted to see how these two look together. Um, yeah, this figure is just way too short. He needs to be taller, but, yeah, uh, this guy looks awesome. Uh, but yeah, you can just see these two, both based on Jim Lee's art, and, yeah, man, it's just, it's really cool to see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, video. Sorry if it was a bit on the longer side, just because it's, uh, you know, two figures in one video. Um. Again, I'm pretty impressed with both figures, and having this makes me want to get the uh, single card in release just to, you know, cut that jacket open. Um, 
maybe I will if he's on sale or something like that. Um, but I'm not going to be particularly rushing out to grab him. I have other figures <laughs> higher on my priority uh, list right now. Like Godspeed. Like I'm dying to get him. He looks really cool. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.